Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Samantha. And today I wanna to talk with you guys about a recipe that I'm sharing for dogs in kidney failure. Now, kidney disease, kidney failure, renal disease, renal failure, um, it's a very serious disease. And I just wanna take a second before I share this video with you guys to tell you how important it is to work with your veterinarian or with a canine nutritionist to find a recipe and a diet that's right for your dog. Every dog is different. Every case of kidney disease is different. There are different grades of it, I guess is a way to say, different stages of it. Um, and you know, your dog might have a more moderate case. Some dogs have a more severe case and there are a million dogs in between. So you really need to focus on that. You need to focus on your dog, his age, his weight, his previous health conditions, any other health conditions that might be going on right now. Um, so it's really important to work with a trained professional that can look at all of that, um, take that big picture and give you um, some recipes or some diet ideas that are really going to meet your dog's needs. Now, with kidney disease, um, what happens? Obviously, the kidneys are part of our um, system of our, in our body that processes waste and turns it into urine so that our bodies can get rid of it. Same thing with your dog. So, if you're feeding, let's just say, a commercial dog food that um, is a poor quality dog food, it has a lot of additives, a lot of fillers, a lot of ingredients in it that uh, don't need to be there, that your dog's body can't use, those types of kibble, those types of commercial diets, um, that food's really bad for a dog with kidney disease because it's, his kidneys are gonna have to work extra hard to filter out all of that extra junk. So. A lot of diets, a lot of recipes for dogs with kidney disease are very basic. They have limited ingredients. A lot of vets or canine nutritionists won't recommend any type of commercial diet for dogs with kidney disease um, for that simple fact. A lot of them are filled with stuff. There's no way to tell 100% what's in there. Um, hopefully you can trust the ingredients on the packaging, but some commercial diets, even the ones that are specifically made for dogs with kidney disease, might have some of those additives and fillers in there that aren't good for your pet. Um, so typically a homemade diet is the way to go. This one's very, very, very basic. Um, what I start off with is I have two cups of cooked white rice here. Dump all of that in. Sorry, that was our little cat Elsa that just walked by. She is um, patiently waiting. She thinks this food is for her. I also have a quarter of a cup of very lean ground beef here. Now I use 95% lean. Because it's so lean, I also used um, about a table, uh, about a teaspoon of coconut oil to fry it in when I cooked it. Uh, that's Coconut oil is great for a dog's skin and coat, so um, I use the coconut oil. I also have three slices of white bread that I've uh, just broken up into little tiny pieces, little small pieces. And then I have, um, actually I'm gonna save that to last. I have one boiled egg that I've chopped up. So there's that. And the last ingredient is a teaspoon of calcium carbonate. Now I'm gonna sprinkle that in first. And I'm gonna give you a little tip because it took me a while to find calcium carbonate at the pharmacy. This is a, the bottle that I used of natural calcium. It says here on the front. What I did not know, calcium carbonate is a powder. If you can find it at um, like a natural living store or even maybe one of your pharmacies in your local area has the calcium carbonate powder, mine did not. It was very difficult to find. And the reason for that is because if you look on the back here where it says, um, it'll say in the ingredients, it says calcium as calcium carbonate. And the reason for that my pharmacist explained to me is because calcium carbonate is a powder and in order to make it into a pill form, they have to add some other ingredients to make it stick together in pill form. So um, look for calcium and just look on the back for the ingredients and see if it says calcium as calcium carbonate. 
Um, so I found the pills and I just crushed them. Like I said, if you can find the powder, that's even better. Um, and then all you're gonna do is mix up this food. That's it, it's that simple. Um, you can serve it as soon as it's cooled, as you can, if you can see the steam coming off of this. Um, I just cooked the rice and the egg and the ground beef, so um, mine's quite hot right now. So let it cool and you can serve it to your dog. Um, it will last in the refrigerator for three to five days in an airtight container. You can also freeze it if you choose um, and it'll last a couple of months in your freezer. If you'd like to do that, make a big batch and save yourself some time. Um, so it's pretty simple. It looks kind of bland to me with the white bread and the um, plain hamburger and the white rice, but um, for your dog, it's actually going to be very, very tasty and it's, of course, very healthy for uh, a dog in kidney failure. So um, again, you know, don't just switch your dog to this food and think that everything's going to be great. Um, this is just a sample of a recipe that would be good for a dog with kidney failure. Um, this recipe also, if you, I wrote this down so I want to get it right, um, you, the feeding guidelines, um, you feed for a dog that's five pounds, you feed a quarter of a cup every day, usually split that between two or three feedings. Um, 10 pound dogs get half a cup, 20 pound dogs get one pound, uh, sorry, not half, a cup, half a pound, this is by pound. So a five pound dog gets a quarter of a pound of food a day. A 10 pound dog gets a half a pound of food a day. 20 pound dog gets one pound of food a day. A 40 pound dog would get a pound and a half of food a day. Uh, a 60 pound dog, two pounds of food. An 80 pound dog, two and a half pounds of food. And a 100 pound dog would get three pounds of this dog food every day. And again, you want to split those into two or three feedings depending on your schedule. If you can do three, that's great. If you can't, two is fine. Um, so keep that in mind, those feeding guidelines, if you run this recipe by your vet and they say that it's a good choice. And again, very strongly, check with a vet, check with a canine nutritionist, make sure that you're using a recipe that's going to be good for your dog's particular needs. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. My email address is samantha at topdogtips.com. Like us, follow us on social media, check out our YouTube channel for more great recipes. I don't do them all about kidney failure. There's some great recipes for all dogs on there as well. Um, so check that out on YouTube, like us on Facebook. Uh, we're all over so so social media. And again, um, please feel free to email me if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.